Good morning, you guys. So welcome back to another vlog. We are getting ready to head out the door right now for gymnastics and Ninja Warrior gym class for the kids. And then um, we gotta take the boys to get haircuts because we have homeschool pictures this week. And um, yeah, we're just gonna do like a day in the life video today, whatever we end up getting into. I really don't have any plans. I have some work I need to get done today, like editing wise. Um, but that's about it. I didn't have time to do my hair this morning, so I just threw it up. I'm going to curl it and stuff once we get back home. But um, got up kind of early this morning, got a workout done and showered off real quick did my makeup and didn't have time to do my hair we gotta get out the door for gymnastics but we're gonna head out and i'll catch up with you guys in a little bit hello we got back from gymnastics and ninja class got my hair curled donnie made lunch for the kids so they're all out there eating right now but we went to gymnastics and ninja class. The classes are at the same time. So Berkeley's in gymnastics and the boys are in ninja warrior class. So we did that and then we went to Dutch Bros. That's like our thing we do after every gymnastics and ninja class. We go to Dutch Bros. Kids get smoothies. I got a decaf iced tea with sugar-free peach. I got that yesterday also, I think in the last vlog. Um, Anyways, then we went to Sport Clips and the boys got haircuts and I went in with the boys to get their haircut. Donnie and Berkeley went to the gas station to fill up my car while we were doing that. So they weren't just like sitting in the parking lot waiting. So they got done getting gas quicker than we got done with our haircuts. So they were they came back and they were sitting waiting for just like a couple minutes until we were done. And I turn around and I look and I see Donnie getting out of the car and like waving his arms at somebody and like, hey, like yelling. I'm like, what is dad doing to Brayden? Because Brayden was done and Brody was getting his hair washed. He was almost done. And I go to the door and I look out and he like looks over at me. He's like, they just hit our car. So I go out there. And while they were sitting there waiting, this guy in like a work pickup truck with like a small little trailer tried to squeeze, like Donnie was in a parking spot and then there was an empty parking spot and then there was another car. So there's an open parking spot kind of in like a middle aisle, you know, so you can like drive through it. This guy went in between our car and the other car and said he forgot he had a trailer on and he caught my back like fender with the fender, like a diamond plate fender on his trailer. So there's a nice gouge down the side of my car all scraped up and they were like, driving off like nothing happened and so Donnie basically had to like chase them down so good thing he was in my car otherwise they probably would have just drove off and we wouldn't have known who did it but anyways it could have been way worse obviously and um got his insurance info and sent it to our insurance guy and they already got it all put in the system and whatnot so we'll get it fixed but still like what always sucks when that kind of stuff happens you know so we're, we're home now, lunch is happening. I need to go fix myself some lunch and do a school with Berkeley. But some exciting news. So you guys know that we get the chat books, like the month books from chat books. Like every single month I get one of those little um, month chat books and we love them. The kids get so excited when they come in, especially Brayden. So basically you get the chat books app and then you can go on your camera roll and it will show you all the photos from like October and then you pick the pictures that you want in your book for October and then it makes you an October book. So I've been doing that every month for quite a while now but Chatbooks also has um, bigger size books too and different products. So I'm going to show you guys the newest one that we just got and I have a good deal for you guys too. So these are our month books that we have down here that we've been getting for quite a while and we love these but this is the newest one that we got and look how cute that is definitely us all the camping and like deer and all that stuff on there so cute but this is a much bigger book as you guys can see for size comparison um, so they do have like these month books on there and then also bigger book the quality is so good and it's got this thick um, photo paper in here the color is amazing you guys can personalize your photo book with custom colors layouts cover styles like I picked this cute cover style like I said it just reminded me of us for sure 
The app is super easy to navigate too. I'm going to put a little screen recording here for you guys to see. But you can easily add, edit, and rearrange your favorite photos to create a beautiful book for your family or friends or anybody that you want. I think these books will make a great gift for grandparents or friends or family, anybody that maybe doesn't get to see you all the time or just people that would like to have a keepsake of anything anything you can think of to make a photo book i actually did one of these photo books for my sister and my brother-in-law with all of the maternity photos that i took when my sister was pregnant with my nephew you can also connect your instagram and facebook account to chat books to get all of your pictures off of your social media into a book i know one thing that i am not very good at is getting photos printed but ever since i started doing the chat books month books now I've got everything, <laughs> like all my favorite photos from that month are just in this book. So I've got like t books from 2020 and all of 2021 so far. These also make just really good like decor in the house, like little table books. Like whenever Donnie's dad comes over, he's always looking at these and the kids pull these out and look at them. So they're just really fun. But um, I just wanted to tell you guys about the other options that Chatbooks has too, not just the month books because I've shared the those with you guys already. But these photo books um, are starting at $15 for a 30 page book plus free shipping. So it's super affordable and definitely easy with the Chatbooks app. Shipping is also super quick, but we are coming up quick on the holidays. So if you guys want to get one of these books made for somebody in your family, Definitely check the link in the description box and you guys can use the code HOLIDAY20 and you will get 20% off your first chatbooks order site-wide. I will have all the info linked in the description box for you guys, so definitely be sure to go and check that out. I took everything off my desk because I had to do some Instagram stories <laughs> for a brand and then this is what happens. Everything is just like scattered. We still need to empty out our water things from hiking over the weekend got a mess in here but the kids Christmas pajamas came in so I wanted to show them to you guys oh I also had to change my clothes because I realized that that um dark gray like thermal shirt I had on had like little you know when you wash stuff sometimes it gets like little grease spots on it I don't know but it had like little spots all over the front and I had to film um a reel and some stories for a brand so I couldn't wear that so I put this on all thrifted from thread up um but christmas pajamas i ordered them from macy's i looked at a whole bunch of different places and um this is what i ended up getting just classic christmas pajamas they're actually really soft though what's the brand family oh it's like macy's brand family pjs macy's so the boys got the pants with the button-up shirt these are like real soft you guys and they were not that expensive. Pretty sure they were on sale actually. Um, so, pants with the button up and then Berkeley got the matching little nightgown. So stinking cute, so I'm gonna get those washed and ready for them. What is today? November 8th, yeah, it's November 8th. So we still got some time before we decorate for Christmas around here. I feel like literally everyone already has their tree up in the social media world but not the caspers we're waiting until either the day after thanksgiving so either actually we're probably not going to decorate the day after thanksgiving because we have plans danielle's going to be here and my dad's going to be here danielle and i actually have a tattoo appointment on friday after thanksgiving so we'll probably decorate the 27th Danielle's gonna be here. She's gonna help me decorate, so she'll probably be in my decorating video this year. That'll be fun. So we're probably gonna decorate the 27th, and then that video will probably probably go up on like November 30th. So we still have like three and a half weeks, almost four weeks, <laughs> until we decorate for Christmas. But Christmas pajamas are worn year round around here, so that's all good. But um, it is time to get schoolwork done with Berkeley. Donnie and the boys are doing school right now. Um, so I'm gonna get all my stuff picked up in here real quick. We're gonna pick up my room We're gonna just let the camera roll get this room cleaned up a little bit and then we're gonna do some school What else we need to do today clean my bathroom the floors are so dirty. There's they show everything these white floors So dirty and then also these counters you can never tell Because of the color of them. It just like blends in but they are so 
dusty. They need to be wiped down and this mirror isn't isn't too bad. There's just a little bit of stuff on there that needs to be wiped up, but this floor needs to be vacuumed and steam mopped real bad and these counters need to be wiped down and also the sink needs to be wiped out. It's dirty too. So dirty little secrets. <laughs> We're going to get get it all cleaned up though. So right now I'm going to make my bed, get this room put back in order before I get school done with Sissy. up look at how cozy cash is you got your blanket oh, oh. boys are working on math last subject of the day finally they got haircuts today <laughs> Brittany, let me see your haircut so Hi, handsome comment i bet down. comment down below i bet they love it yeah what about you let me see you so stinking handsome mm -hmm. all right now me and berkeley I'm gonna do her schoolwork. You ready to go? Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right, I just finished up school with Berkeley. And now I've got some things I need to laminate. So I'm going to pull my laminator out, get that stuff done. Um, anytime she has been like coloring pictures that I want to keep, been laminating them and putting them in her binder where we keep like all of her finished schoolwork. Got that idea from Caitlin Nyer. Whenever her daughter brings something home from school that she wants to keep, she laminates it and puts it in a binder. So. Um, I started doing that and I have a whole tub of the boys schoolwork from when they were still in school up in the top of their closet. I need to pull that down and go through the whole thing and organize it and laminate and like do binders for them as well. So I'll probably do that in a video coming up sometime soon. I will have to like plan that out as like my one of my tasks to do for the day. Um, but for now I am just going to get this stuff laminated. She has a bunch of pictures that she's drawn the last few days that I want to put in there. And then we just did this uh, seasons strips. And so I need to cut these into strips and laminate them so we can practice our seasons each day. Um, my laminator is by Scotch and I've had this laminator for like five years. So I cannot link it for you guys because it's like an old version, but I do have the newer version of that linked in my Amazon shop. Also Donnie just got home. Um, he went to the store to pick up some provolone cheese because I forgot to get that for our dinner tonight And he also went by the trailer and picked up um, The boys zipper bedding because that was in the trailer from the last time we went camping We were using that stuff, but when I get their bedding switched around so he went and grabbed that So we're gonna do that after I finish laminating this stuff Why are you walking like that just to be annoying? Like what? Oh God. I sent him for cheese and he comes back with this also, of course. And provolone. Oh yeah, he also had to get a poblano pepper. I'm doing Philly cheesesteaks. And eggs. Okay, let's laminate.
right, next thing we need to do is change this letter board. It still has a Halloween saying on there. So I'm gonna do a look on Pinterest and come up with something for Thanksgiving. Once I'm done with that, we're gonna get the boys' bedding switched back to their zipper bedding. Hi, Jasper. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? Come here, D. Come here, Papa. <laughs> Hi. What are you doing? He's such a good boy. He thinks it's his dinner time for his wet food, but it's not yet. Not yet. I'm in the kitchen, though, so he thinks it is. What is that, dry food not good for you? It's not good enough? Huh? He was trying to talk me into it and I told him no, but Donnie's gonna give in and give it to him. What? Hmm? What do you want, Jasper? Are you hungry? Huh? What is it? What's he having tonight? Let's see. He's having ocean, ocean. fish alicious. <laughs> looks like tuna. Like a can of tuna is what it looks like. Yeah. He's starving. Can't you tell he never eats? You know, he constantly has food in his bowl. <laughs> Poor guy. He just wanted his dinner. Gotta film this so then my dad knows. When he watches the vlog, he knows that Jasper's eating his wet food. Good. Eating his wet food, you guys. Look at this. My dad wrote this on here last time he was here. Feed Jasper more wet food. <laughs> it's like an ongoing joke now. Is this zoomed in? Yes. Every time I talk to my dad, he's like, does Jasper have enough wet food? Cashy. Oh, I said his name when he got up. He was so cozy on his bed with his blanket. Poor Cashy. <laughs> My lazy dog. Everyone always asks where he is. Uh, he's here. <laughs> he's here. You need to go out? You sit. Good boy. His <laughs> tail. <laughs> you can get a drink. Okay. Yep. Seriously. Look the fog out in the field. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Foggy out there. Look at the creek. It's moving. Faith in and the light that you share. You light the sun. Who am I to think how it be? If you were mine, I've been walking with my shades on for so long. I can't seem to get them back on. Cause ooh, how I fell in love. Couldn't see it coming back.
Alright, it is now time to make some dinner. So we're gonna make some Philly cheesesteaks. Just the filling though, we're not gonna be doing any bread. We've been trying to eat a little bit healthier. So um, last week I made this without bread and it was super good just having like the filling of the Philly cheesesteaks. So um, I'm gonna do that again in this video. So I'm just slicing up a yellow onion, slicing up two bell peppers, a poblano pepper, the other ingredients you're gonna need is some type of steak. So I usually do a skirt steak or a flank steak. They're like a really long strip of meat and then you can cut it into little slices. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And then you're also gonna need some taco seasoning and some provolone cheese. I just put a drizzle of olive oil in a pan and then put those vegetables in there and I'm just adding some pink salt and some pepper. And I'm gonna get those going while I work on cutting up the steak strips. Something from you that feels right But I know nothing, 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 nothing Nothing will do, not this time You tell me that you care for me But I don't think it's true You say I know you got the baby All you got is you You promise All right, now I'm adding another drizzle of oil to a different pan. I'm gonna add that steak in there and get that going. I'm just gonna season it with some of that pink salt and some pepper. Once the steak is done, I'm gonna transfer it into the pan with the vegetables just because I wanna get all of this extra grease out of this pan. And then I'm gonna transfer everything back into this pan so I can put it into the oven to broil the cheese on top. But I needed to empty out the grease that was in that bottom of that pan. So I'm just adding some taco seasoning. I don't measure, I just kinda sprinkle it over the top to cover it and then mix it all together um, and it looks so good already. But after I empty out that pan, I am going to transfer it all back so that way I can pop this pan into the oven. But I'm just laying it out kind of in a flat layer on the bottom of the pan and then covering it with provolone cheese. And then I am popping that in the oven to broil. I put the broiler on high and I don't set a timer. I just kind of watch it until the cheese starts to look a little tiny bit bubbly and brown. No way. It only takes about two or three minutes probably to have this be your outcome, so definitely keep an eye on it, otherwise you'll burn it super easily. But I'm just gonna dish that up now, so this is Donnie's plate. All right, after dinner, the kids are gonna get to work on unloading and loading the dishwasher, and Brody also sprayed down the table and wiped that down. Now the boys were done doing their part of their after dinner chores. So Donnie's gonna go in and there's a couple of things that needed to be washed by hand. So he is gonna take care of that.
Now I'm just going to go in with my Thieves cleaner and a cleaning rag and wipe down the kitchen counters. And then Donnie's going to be using the CLR stainless steel cleaner to clean off the stove top. Now earlier in this video you guys heard me talking about this bathroom and how it really needed to be wiped down and cleaned so even though it's after dinner I definitely wanted to still get that done and not put it off till the next day because we were going to be super busy the next day so I went ahead and headed into the bathroom and I'm just using some spray away glass cleaner to wipe down the mirror. I'm using thieves cleaner to wipe down the counters and also to scrub out the sinks. All right, now we're moving on to the toilet. So I'm just gonna spray that down with some thieves cleaner and get it all wiped down. And then I'm gonna use my Clorox toilet wand to clean the inside of the bowl. And then I'm gonna move everything from the floor. So we've got the little toilet paper holder, the garbage can, all of that. We're gonna move everything out of here so then I can get to work on vacuuming and mopping. So I'm just giving you guys a little glimpse here of my vacuum cleaner after I vacuumed just the bathroom. Look how much dust and hair was in that. That's crazy. Just this small little space. It's wild how much gets built up on the floors after a couple of days. So I'm just going in with my shark steam mop now. This is my favorite mop. I've been using it a whole lot more lately. For a while it was out in the garage and I was using my spin mop or my bona mop, but I love this steam mop. You just have to put water in it and off you go, plug it in and it does such a good job. I like to add a few drops of peppermint essential oils onto the pad so it just makes the whole house smell so good and clean and it works so well. Every so while I was working on cleaning the bathroom, Donnie got a head start and started folding some laundry. So when I was done with that, I came out and I was like, well, I better set up the camera and we can finish folding this laundry together. So he tackled the basket of towels, like cleaning rags and hand towels that had gone through the wash on the sanitized setting. And I've got a basket of clothes. So we're gonna get that taken care of together and then we're gonna get everything put away.
All right, friends, that is gonna wrap up this video. So thank you so much for clicking on this video and taking time out of your day to watch it. I hope it brought you some sort of motivation or inspiration or some sort of entertainment. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos and for your continued support. So thank you again. Be sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel and I will see you guys again very soon in my next video. Bye.